Hello. Hi, girl. I had to pull over. It, it just wasn't happening. I, I wasn't making it home for this. Oh, well, thank you so much, Melissa, for being with us. Thank you. For thank you so much. Over. Girl, of course. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for bearing with the background, you know. It's all good. I understand things happen. We are just grateful and, and thankful for your time this evening. So we want to make the most of it while we have you. Thank you. For sure. So let's get right into it while we have you, beautiful. And you look amazing, by the way. Like, your skin is glowing. Girl, can I just say the same about you? Can we just receive and give love right quick? Aww. Can I talk about the choker? You're bringing me back, honey. You're bringing me back to the I, 90s. Thank you. I was going for, like, a vintage kind of 90s look. So thank you, beautiful. Yes. Hair slayed. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> thank you. Nothing but love. Nothing but love for you. You're thank so you. beautiful. Thank All you. right, Melissa, my queen, let's get into it while we have let's do it. So I want to talk about the fact that, I mean, at this point, I wouldn't necessarily say that you're relatively new to the game. I mean, like, your talent, it speaks for itself, Ruthless, The Oval. I mean, there's just so much that you've been a part of. But based on your experience and where you are in the industry, where you are in your life today, what would you say that you have learned about yourself? Mm. I have learned that I am able to take constructive criticism and turn it into either a lesson or um, a positive. And because it's always positive when you're working on yourself, you know, and I think that we're always, we're always in a constant state of personal growth. Well, I hope, I hope that we are. Um, and so for me, I've just found that, um, you know, growing up, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I was that strong. And now, you know, throughout this journey, I have become very strong and resilient. And um, so I think, yeah, I love growth. I love growing because that just means that you know, at, at the end of the day, your purpose is becoming fulfilled. So yeah, I think that that's beautiful. That is so raw and so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. Growth. It is so important. I mean, if you're not growing in your life, I, I don't really know, you know, what you're doing. You might need to do a heart check. You know, you might want to do a heart check. Honey, you might need to get on them knees and pray to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and that's real. And that is so real. So, Melissa, you have a theatrical background from Clark University. Mm -hmm. How or what has it been like transitioning from that theatrical background to now working in television? Has that been a smooth transition for you? Um, I will say because I, was, I came out here really hungry to California. Um, so for me, it was smooth because, honey, if it was bumpy, I didn't notice. I was so busy trying to make it happen. My mm -hmm. school, Clark Atlanta, shout out to Clark Atlanta. Uh, hey, Faye. So she was actually, that's one of my college friends, Faye Love. The real Hi, Faye Love. Faye. Um, but yeah, we, we were in a group called the CAU Players. And that was basically the extracurricular theater group outside of um, our studies. And our motto at Clark is find a way or make one. And when I came out here, I was definitely on that. Find a way or make one. I love that. That's gonna be my new mantra. Come on, come on. You can be a, a alumna. We can we can honorary. Amen. <laughs> Clark, right alumna. here in the house. Yes. <laughs> so, Melissa, let's get right into your role on again, not one but two Tyler Perry shows. Ain't got God. Good. Where did that at? <laughs> in Tyler <laughs> Perry Studios. Right? Just blessings on blessings. God is good, honey. Amen. He really is. Um, both shows, I feel, have given viewers an incredible, just wild ride. Like, when Tyler Perry does it, he does it. You know what I mean? I mean, he goes there. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the individual roles that you play, uh, one on the, off, or on the Oval and then the other on Ruthless? Okay, so um, starting out on the Oval, both characters you actually see. So you see Denise and mm -hmm. you see Ruth, uh, which are twin sisters that I play, who in my case, I'd like to say, 
um, have power in both worlds. So inside of the White House, you have Denise, the mistress, who has this power over uh, the president. And then you have Ruth, who obviously, honey, I don't know if you saw how she came through and kidnapped her daughter, but she has a power as well. Ooh. She says what she says and she means what she says. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I enjoyed that aspect of playing both powerful roles in different ways. Okay, I can see that. So how what was it like to play two characters on the show? Because like you mentioned, you're a twin. So what mm -hmm. was it like to kind of bounce back and forth between those two very different personalities? Well, to be honest, we shot all of Ruth on in one week. So it wasn't really bouncing. It was, it was more of, I kind of had it to where I got to focus on Ruth for a week. And then Denise, I had a day. So I got, uh, the story is crazy, but God <laughs> is good and we're here. But, um, you know, I get a phone call. I was done with Ruth and Tyler calls me and he's like, Hey, you know, what do you think about Ruth being a twin? And I'm like, yeah, it's you know, good. I'm <laughs> That, that's awesome. <laughs> and he's like, um, well, do you want to play the twin? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, okay, well, we're shooting tomorrow. I'll send you the scripts and I'm about to have your flight canceled. And I was like, okay, God, here, and here we go. And here the journey continues. I thought I was going home. Wow. Honey, I, I was on my way back to the set so all I can say is God is good and God is real and um to play two roles on a show that number one cable drama did you see that yes we saw that and that's why we are honored to be chatting with you this evening God is good. God yes, is good. It is. I mean that is such a fabulous share I mean just yeah. the fact that I mean I feel like I don't know what went through Tyler Perry's mind but your work was so incredible. Like he just, he wanted to write more for you because he mm -hmm. brought that to you. You know what I mean? And so that's just a testament to your character, to your work ethic. And, and that is why, like I said, it's such an honor to be chatting with you this evening. This, you're not gonna have me crying uh, out here. Okay, that's, that's what we're not gonna do on today. It's not my intention, Thank you. just so much respect for you. So Thank much you. respect. So Ruthless revolves around the Rakudishis. Did I pronounce that correctly? That's, that's a mouthful. Yes. Now that is a cult and it is led by the highest, okay? Mm -hmm. And he's played by Matt Sedino. Do you think this, the scenario, the show, the Rakudishis, any of it parallels any of the realities that are happening in today's society? Oof, and that's a great question. I, I would, I'm going to say this. So the, the definition of cult actually surprised me, right? Because it's not necessarily just a person that people can become infatuated with. It's also things. So it's like the definition is to be mesmerized or um, excessively admiring of a thing or a person. And so I think we definitely have that in our society. You have celebrities, you have sports figures, you have pastors, you have presidents who got the boot, baby. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, speak on okay. it. <laughs> okay. Um, you got, so you know what I mean? And people and then things, you have social media, you have uh, vices for people. Like there's a lot of things that you can actually put in the category of becoming addicted or culty of and so I think that we definitely have that and, and that's why this show is so relatable yeah. people can see themselves and be like "Ooh, I remember a time where you know I kind of felt like that or like this person really had me but I got out of it you know what I mean yeah oh for so. sure I I got a little goosebump when you gave the definition of cult because it was almost wow. like conviction for me immediately when you said it could be more than just a group of people it could be things it could be social media things that you don't even realize that, that you're you, that your highlight. brain yes yeah. yes yes exactly so. it's it's amazing and it's actually scary so i'm glad that i hope that enlightened some people on the timeline yes i hope so <laughs> i caught it i don't know if y'all caught it but i caught okay. that one. <laughs> so what would you say is your 
favorite behind the scenes moment on Ruthless? I'm sure there are many, but what is your most memorable or your most favorite? Um Ooh, girl, they they filmed the Monica and Brandy battle versus right we were we were literally my toe could have touched the stage. Say not what really. you say now. Girl, so I thought, and let me tell you what the joke was, because the joke was on me. So that day was my birthday, and I, oh, no, no, we will not. Hold on. <laughs> let me let me fix my lighting. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we're good. So um, my birthday, that was my birthday. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, I have the best boss in the world. He's going to surprise me with the versus battle live, wow. right? And I'm like, we're, we're, we're still shooting, and... <laughs> It's starting in five minutes. Oh, oh, we're not going. Oh, I'm not going. Oh, okay. Oh, we have to watch it. Oh, we're going to watch on the phones like everybody else, even though it's right. It's right there. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I think that that moment was definitely a behind the scenes moment for me because what we did was end up having our own little concert while we were waiting for the next shot. But that's still fabulous. Like, what a moment. Like, it was such a moment. Brandy, was, Monica. Ah. They were right there. I was literally like, I can feel you singing. <laughs> I can feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I can feel you, yes. <laughs> so, Melissa, what would you say is maybe one of the, the most important things that you've learned about yourself since becoming an actress? Mm. One of, that I have so much more than just being an actress. Yeah. I guess to offer. I mm -hmm. think once I learned like, oh, okay. Um, there's just more that I, there's just more that I want to bring to the table. Yeah. So I think I learned that as an actress, there's more you can do and there's more you should do, especially if the opportunity is, is presenting itself. So I think that's what I learned that there's more. Yeah than just that being an actor. It's so respectable. There is so much more, you know, you have such a huge platform, so much that you can do. So I love that answer. Um, now we've spoken to a few of your counterparts about their experience at the Tyler Perry quarantine camp. So mm -hmm. we would love to hear your perspective and what that experience was like for you. Oh girl, I wish we had the same care, you know, at the grocery store. Oh. And, and caution. I mean, they were very like, we have hazmat suits on um, before we can let, you know, touch your luggage. Like wow. it was secure, safe and sound. We were testing Monday. We're testing Wednesday. We're testing Friday. Okay. Yeah. We didn't do it three times a week, but we definitely <laughs> tested a lot. So everybody knew, you know what I mean? Whenever we were, we were around each other that we were okay. Versus like when you're out here in the world, honey, <laughs> and you're just like, Jesus, take the wheel. Right. Please. So, just take it, Jesus. Just, just take it, Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. I love that. I mentioned this to um, our last interview with Vaughn, that I love that he takes such good care of his staff, his employees. He just, he's so gracious in that way. I think that is so beautiful. It's really like... And then to read like other, you know, headlines where people are like, c productions are shutting down because yeah. maybe they're not doing it as safe. It's like, yeah, he really, really, Tyler really, really, really does care about each and every one of the persons that he comes into contact with, hires. And I just feel yeah. like that part is what people need to, to really, really respect in that man is that it's not just about him. Yeah, I love that about Tyler Perry. Such a fan. He's. He's an amazing person. He truly is. Um, Melissa, Girl. do you have any upcoming projects, any passion projects that you're maybe working on that you could or would like to share with us? Uh, shout out to Faye and shout out to my sister. Okay, really quick. Um, projects. Okay, so besides the Oval and, and Ruthless, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> um <laughs> I definitely, um, I do have some projects coming out. I have some musical projects coming out. Ooh. So I really, I'm, that's all I'm going to say, but it's, it's coming out pretty soon. And musical I'll just leave projects? it at that. 
That's Girl. exciting. Get a, we got to talk. We got we got more to talk about. Um, and then, yeah, so that, and then also, um, so when I mentioned about being more than just an actor, producing, I'll be producing my own project. So okay. a Maybe. feature film that uh, is definitely going to shake the industry. So. Oh, I'm here for just all stay of tuned. Just stay tuned, baby. That. It's like when I'm quiet, it's it's for a reason. I'm out here, baby. It's about to go down. <laughs> That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say about it. I love this energy so much. Um, we have a fan question for you. And they ask, which character do you enjoy playing more between Ruth and Denise? Ooh. Definitely Ruth, because at the end of the day, Ruth is badass. Like, mm -hmm. Denise is great, but she got her head chopped off. I mean, you know, <laughs> like, she got her head chopped off. We got to, we got to, we got to rock with the survivor. We got to be, we got to be real about it, you know? You know? And so, um, yeah, so I definitely, I definitely, definitely would pick Ruth all day. Hello, Ruthless. Yeah. Okay, so this season is this. Well, the second half of the first season is about to come out November twenty sixth, and and we're not gonna oh let that lighting face it. I couldn't wait to ask you when we could anticipate this next season. I mean, yes. we have been looking forward to it. I was just telling Vaughn that Tyler Perry knows a thing or two about a dang on cliffhanger. Mm. If he don't know how to leave you hanging, boy, that is something that he knows how to do. So you said it was November 26th? November 26th on Thanksgiving. Three episodes are coming out. Oh, we get three episodes. Did y'all hear that? Y'all heard that? Three y episodes. And honey, I, I just, I, God bless everybody that's watching right now. Uh, that's all I got to say. Jesus, put your hand on each individual. We, we love, love it. We are here. We love and support. We love and support everyone. Um, uh, now, we also have a question from the staff. Pause, Roz. Uh, Pause, Roz was an amazing series, unlike we've seen before. That's their comment. Was yeah. it a limited series, or can we expect another season? Uh, well, shout out to Carlton Jordan. He created that show. Um, he's working on a season two. So. Okay. We will That's see. fantastic. That definitely answered that question. Yeah. So season two, we are hopefully anticipating that one pretty soon. Yeah, he's working on the season two. I don't have any dates. I don't know specifics, but I know that's the last thing he told me. We love Paz Roz. Okay, awesome. We got some excitement about it. That's pretty hey. cool. Hey. So this question is probably our last question, but um, it's one of my favorite questions to ask because mm. I really feel like in asking this one, we get to hear your heart just a little bit more. I mean, you've been sharing with us, but we get to kind of hear your heart a little bit more. And pretty much I've been seeing a trend on social media where we've all started giving each other our flowers right now. We're not waiting until someone's passed away to say, well, they were this and they were that. We are literally giving each other our flowers today. Mm -hmm. So my question is, if you could honor anyone with their flowers today, who would that person be for you and why? Ooh. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's so, just one person. If, if, if you could give one person their flowers today. Yeah, just one person you could think of, maybe right that comes to mind immediately. I'm always going to say my mom. I mean, yeah. my mom, hands down. For sure. I would say my mom too, honestly. That comes to mind first. When she gave had, us um, life. <laughs> she's the reason why we're both sitting here where we are today so i think that's always an amazing answer always Definitely. uh tisha renee said when she was on here with us last that she would actually give her flowers to you and we what? thought that was a beautiful moment yes oh my T you know what and tisha renee is actually just a beautiful person inside and out and one one woman who I know God has so much in store for. She has a beautiful heart. So that was that was unexpected, but that was really sweet. I'll have to call her. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was a very sweet moment. Both of you ladies are amazing. Melissa, I have to tell you again how 
just incredibly honored we are to have chatted with you this evening. You are a, obviously just a beautiful soul, but it's it's just it's inside and out, and we thank you so much. Thank you so much, and I really really appreciate you guys having me on here. I've been a fan for a while, so I'm happy that I got my time. Yay! You got your time. <laughs> you got our time. And make sure just one more time before you leave, you could shout out to everyone where we can follow you on social media. Okay, yes. Hey, Yvonne. Um, okay. Hey, everybody, too, that's commenting. Thank y'all for watching. So my social media is Melissa period L period Williams on Instagram. And then on um, Twitter, it's 1ML Williams. And Facebook, it's just Melissa L. Williams. Perfection. Beautiful. And make sure that if you're not already, you're following us over here at Black Cinema Now. And mm -hmm. you can follow your girl over at Hwood Gym. So I definitely will. All right. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful. So nice to meet you. You as well. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Later. Bye.